Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Bud and the Suds. No bottle. Uh -oh, we're missing no a bottle. bottle. Where's the bottle? This is a blonde one I'm giving to Brian. Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys have seen this. It's always fun. I've gotten the last couple, I think. I mean, not that I've got them right, but you've given me the last couple of blind beers. I have. So, uh, we, had, we just had a couple extra BSUs tonight, so we thought we'd drink, uh, enjoy this. So, yeah. well, maybe. let's get into it. I don't know what it is, yeah. yeah. Darkness. It's got a decently dark head. Yeah, let's see if it does. Hmm. Not really getting that much, getting some malt. When did you pull it out of the fridge? It's been out for okay. 50 minutes. Hmm. I feel like I'm getting some just chocolate maltish, okay. you know, dark malts. I don't get much barrel character if there is. I mean, if it, if there is, it's it's hidden. Hmm. All right. All right. Cheers. 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 Mm. Smooth and creamy. Um, a little roasty. Mm. Kind of good mouthfeel. Yeah. I feel like it's probably a Russian Imperial style. It wouldn't surprise me if it was with oats or something. Okay. It's got a nice, I mean, a really creamy mouthfeel. Okay. Mm. Um, I don't really get any barrel character though. Okay. A little doozy, but yeah. not not any barrel character that I can say. It's pretty good. Yeah. So if it's just a plain old standard Russian Imperial style, I would give it high marks because it, it's, okay. it's good. All right. If it's adjunct, I don't know. I don't really get. I mean, maybe some a little sweetness, something that I could say might be a little vanilla, but it's not the predominant flavor if, if that's in there. And hmm. Yeah. All right. So, what are you gonna write it? Um. Just a. I mean, so like, if if it's just a plain uh -huh. Russian Imperial style, not barrel aged, no adjuncts, and I would I'd, for a Russian Imperial style, it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's one of the better ones. Yeah. I'd probably get like a four three three. I might be able to bump it to a four five, but probably a four three three. I mean, I really like it a lot. Okay. Uh, but now, if you told me it was, if you told me it was barrel aged or adjunct, I, I'd have to knock it yeah. some because it doesn't. So I, I'll tell you, I get a spice on it, and I get a big like woody tannin character, as well. Like I get tons of like, I mean, it's almost aggressive tannic to me. Um, really? Yeah. Hold on, don't pull it out yet. Oh, okay. Let me let my tongue get saturated. So when you said roast, I, I was like, whoo, because I, I thought I get that as spice. Well, no, the spice is on the front. So I get yeah. I get that on the nose mm. and um, I get the flavor first and it, I get that spice. And then it's this aggressive woody character, not like a bourbon, not like that kind of bourbonish or vanilla. It's like oak tannins almost. Okay. And I get this kind of this big roastiness. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm loving the spice thing up front. Like you said, it's creamy, OD type. And then I get, and it, it, it's getting, a, I'm getting accustomed to it, so it's it's a little more pleasant now, but it was very aggressive to the point of being almost off-putting to me. Really? When I started. You know, see, I wasn't getting that. I do get, I'm starting to get a little bit of something that, it, it'd be hard for me to say it was, you know, spice mm -hmm. or spices, mm -hmm. but there's something extra there. Um, but I'm not really getting, when you say tanning character, you're talking about that raspberry Yeah, that, that like, that cotton swab on the tongue thing. But it, you know, part of that I think it's a big roastiness as well. You know, when you're yeah. describing this big roasty style, I think part of that's the roasted maw, but I also, it's almost this drying um, tannic quality on the, on the huh. tongue to me. Okay, well, but, all right, let's see what yeah. it is. So this is Shibalanqua. I don't know how to say it, you guys can look. It is one of the bottles that you got to take home from Hunaday. Um, so this is, this is, it says stout aged in a a Amberana wood. Oh, so that's I think that this flavor is, I'm getting. So I think this is Hunapu. Okay. I'm Hoonapu? pretty sure. Or, Yikes. I'm not sure if it's exactly all the adjuncts or not. I guess I have to look more carefully. I was trying to look before here because I thought I fought, saw a full description, but right now it just says Imperial stout aged in Amber Amberana wood. But if you look at like the Shibalanqua, however you say that, if you look, that was the Mayan twin to Hunapu. Okay. So I'm wondering if this is actually that stout with that adjunct, because I get cinnamon. 
Mm -hmm. I do get cinnamon. That's the spice I get. I don't get okay. peppers, um, but I do get this cinnamon flavor, kind of this creamy vanilla cinnamon icing thing. Um, and then, you know, typically with that amber amberana wood, I either get kind of like either like a smokiness or almost where I talk about that chlorophenol flavor I get. I don't get mm. that on this. Okay. I get like this huge roastiness and this oaky tannin quality to it. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Um, I can't say that I get a lot of cinnamon from it. I mean, I, I get what you're saying. I get something that's starting to have just mm -hmm. a little burn on the back end. I did not get it from it. Yeah. To me, I got you know the, the typical deep, dark roasted malt and then maybe a little sweetness, mm -hmm. which I was trying to decide if yeah. it was vanilla or something else. And then now it's it's leading more into not peppery burn, but just a very hint yeah. of you know the burn you get with cinnamon. Uh, but I got that on the back end. And, I, and I'll say, like I, the, it was very aggressive to me at first, mm. but now my, my tongue's getting acclimated. I'm actually enjoying this more and more as we okay. go along. Because at first I was like, oh crap. <laughs> so it's funny. <laughs> and I haven't tried this yet. The, the wood flavor that you're talking about, um, you know, we have a local beer okay. uh, that is brewed in, and, and uh, well, it's, 70K is not always done in that wood, but they have a special release mm. of it that's in that wood. Yeah. And I do remember. Um, you know, as I was just drinking this a second ago, thinking, wow, this is reminiscent of something I've had okay. recently. And was uh, I couldn't quite place what it was. But I don't get the raspiness, you know, that you're talking about with the tannins. Um, Maybe it's all roast. Some... Maybe it's all, like, bitter roast. And it's just coming off that way to me. I don't know. Um, well, I'm getting some wood character. Yeah. But I have to admit, I was having a hard time placing that. But I knew it was some other flavor that I mm -hmm. had recently. And I think it was from the 70K. and. You remember it tasting material. similar to that? I remember having a, a mm -hmm. kind of a weird flavor that I couldn't place. Yeah. yeah. And I just couldn't describe it. Yeah. Even knowing what it was then. I just poured more and I get like I get more and more cinnamon now in that okay. back end. But again, I just came away from this festival drinking tons of cinnamon and huna and everything, which was a good time. Um, yeah, I think I actually prefer this year's huna is actually really good. 2019 huna is very good. Um, it was better than the, the 2018, noticeably. Um, had them both there. This, I think I prefer uh, like a, a little less than that. I'm gonna go 425 uh, okay. for this for me. Um, I like the cinnamon. I like a little more pepper heat. I, th I think that aggressive, whether it's roast or I don't know if it's the oakiness to it. At first it was a little off putting to me, but now I'm, I'm getting accustomed to it. I'm, I'm digging it, it's settling in, I'm digging it more. Yeah, it adds a complexity that I really like, but the mouthfeel though is really good. Yeah, I mean, that, nice I mean it's great. Creamy, chewy. chewy. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's why I'm gonna keep it at a 433, yeah. just cause I, I don't, I like what they're doing. I have to admit, I wasn't sure what they were doing, mm -hmm. but but now that I know what they're doing, I, I'll stick with a four three three. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. So uh, if you guys, like I said, this one. So this year's festival, it was really fun, by the way, and it wasn't as busy. Was it? Yeah, was it fun? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't know. Uh, but anyway, so they did, <laughs> the tickets this year. They did the four, eight, and twelve. Four bottle, you just got four hunas. Eight, you got four hunas and four of the Chibalanqua, uh, and then. Uh, 12, you got those eight plus four of the Schwick or Quick or X. The X Quick. Sh quick. Uh, yeah, it's, quick. It's uh, the X Q I C. Well, you, yeah, you probably Q I C. Pronounce like, yeah. It's, uh, anyway, but that one was with maple. I think it's Huna with maple. And we had that at the festival a few, couple years ago. And it, it was one of, yeah, it was yeah. one of the last beers we had. We're like, holy crap. Yeah, we should you, just stay there. <laughs> it was funny. This year, there was, because maple used to not be the big adjunct. Mm -hmm. This year, it's like every beer was maple. And so by the end, we, we were just maple sweats. I mean, that's all we could smell. Everywhere we go was maple, maple, maple. You're just going to keep rubbing it in, aren't you? No, it's not. It wasn't a good thing, man. Like right now, <laughs> the thought of pancakes makes me want to, excuse me. <laughs> uh, but no, it was fun. Um, good festival. Very hot. A lot of sun. Burnt a little bit. But uh, yeah, so if you guys get a chance to take, check out the... Uh, Farmer's stand. Yeah, look at that. The Chablanqua. Uh, it's kind of cool. If you like the Amber on a wood, I definitely think you get it. It stands out, like you said, it that does. flavor. It, but it's so hard to describe. Yeah, it's hard to... Yeah. There's not a lot of... I mean, we've had it, what, once before? Yeah, once? that's the only time yeah. I've had it is the 70K. Yeah. And some people say either kind of the smokiness I've heard people describe it as. It has a little cinnamon flavor to it, too. Could be. Um, and, and, and I did drink a beer down there that was aged in this, and I got this chlorophenol thing, which some people um, describe as peat. Uh, it's just the way my taste buds come off. I had a lot of chloroseptic as a kid, and I get that flavor. And um, and it, it was an amber on a uh, barrel age, but I, like, I didn't get any of that in this. So. Huh. Anyway. Interesting. Uh, 425, 433. Good stuff. Anything yeah. else? No. Nope. As always, guys, if you can have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.